Hello, I am Matt. This is stock speed run number one for the weekend of February 5th, 2022. If you are unfamiliar with what a stock speed run is, you can check this video's description for an explanation as always and also a disclaimer as to its content. My cats are very unhappy because I'm not petting them at this exact very moment. But that's too damn bad. I got a speed run to do. Sabine, Sabine. Wish I knew how to pronounce that. But they are entrusting themselves with royalty. Okay, no, not really. Do this chart will make more sense once I learn what this is. Get, get out of here, Yahoo. I am paying for your shit. Holds royalty. Oh, well, that's useful. Mineral interest in various producing uh, oil and gas properties in the United States. Royalty and mineral interest include landowners royalties, overriding royalty interest, minerals. So they own mineral interest in, var in various producing oil and gas properties. Okay, it's kind of generic. Does that, does, uh, hmm. Multi and mineral in various producing oil properties. Is this kind of like a real estate company then? No, it doesn't say property. It says oil and gas. Oil and gas E and P. I'm not just sure what E and P means. Royalty and mineral interest in various producing. Well, they hold. Okay, royalty makes sense, right? They get they get paid a royalty for stuff. Royalty and mineral. I'm not too sure what it means by mineral interest though. In various producing oil and gas properties in the United States. Its royalty and mineral interest include landowners' royalties, overriding royalty interest, minerals, production payments, and other similar non-participatory interest in certain producing and proved. Undeveloped oil and gas properties located. Okay, you know, that kind of... So if they're not actually putting in... If they just own interest in... The minerals and get royalties from them, then that will kind of make sense to what this chart looks like up here because if they don't have any significant operations, if they're just collecting money on prior uh, operations or investments, then these profit margins make a little bit more sense because this is kind of crazy. I mean, what's more crazy is this quarterly here. Holy shit. I want to see the last uh, the last earnings report for this. Monthly cash distribution. Ooh, they have monthly cash distribution? That's a hell, that's, I guess that's their dividend, technically. That's a hell of a dividend. Then again, companies like this technically, uh, usually do pay pretty hefty dividends. Monthly cash distribution for January 20, uh, beneficial of 87 cents per unit. Cash distribution for December, for November, for October, for September, for August. I could turn that into a song. <laughs> for December, for November, for October, for September, for August. For July. For June and for May and for March and for April. Oh, this is far back as it goes. Really? I don't have any articles for the actual... For the actual earnings reports? That's kind of strange. I was hoping to read those. Um, hmm. Alright, aside from aside from announcements about catches and breaches, there's literally only two articles in here I can read. Let's read this one from Insider Monkey about the 10-year and high yield monthly dividend stocks. And let's read this one about also Insider Monkey asking eight months ago if the stock is a buy. So let's, let's first see what they thought eight months ago. Short-term uh, sentiment influenced by the accommodative interest, blah, 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 words, 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 words. Smart money was taking a bullish view. The number of hedge fund bets went up by one recently within five hedge funds for the fellows at the end of the first quarter of 2021. All-time high for the statistic is eight. Okay. I saw it around inside our monkey monthly, blah, blah, blah. blah. Mm. Oh my god. Excuse me. Let me look at this chart again. So I know I know oil cratered in 2020, so it kind of makes sense that this chart would track with oil. Actually, you know, I wonder how close it tracks with oil. I want to look at oil prices. Crude oil. 
Well, um, actually that's right. Oil prices typically isn't oil itself, it's futures. So it's it's rolling. Um Sure, let's sure. Let's look at crude oil in March. How far back are oil contracts typically trading? Okay, interesting. So if I look at this, and you know, let me get something else just for perspective. Let me get, um... Uh... Oil for... I don't know, December? December, yeah, let's go with December of 25. Because I want to do a little bit of a comparison here. I want to track this chart and see how closely it follows oil. Oil of December of 25. Take a look at the five year here. Okay, that's that's definitely interesting. So I'm going to move this to a new tab. Or not a new tab, new window. Uh, where is new window? Move tab to window. I'm going to move this to new window. Okay. Move this over here. Move this here. This is crude oil for December twenty for December of twenty five. This is crude oil for March of twenty two. Coming up, coming up very soon. I'm kind of interested in this December one down here because it doesn't. I, I would have expected. I know it's. I know it's two years off. I know it's two years off, but I would have expected. Um. I would have expected the charts to still track pretty similarly. Sure, there was a tiny COVID dip here, not quite as much as the March of 22, which I kind of makes more sense. Which, I, I, you know, I, I guess it makes sense when you think about it because March of 22 is closer to the current time when this happened than 25 was. I'm sure, I'm sure everyone was thinking, oh, there's no way this can last until December of, two, of 2025. It's like, <laughs> joke's on you, buddy. It's still going strong in 22. Uh, but even even back in 2019, there was this ridge here, which you can see reflected in the price for Sabine Royalty. Look, it has a very similar ridge right here. End of 2018, going into 2019. You don't really see, that's almost non-existent in this in this chart for December 25th, uh, or December December of 2025. You have a similar run up in 21 and then into 22 and this little this little up bounce this little bounce here of 2000 uh, at the end of 21 and going into 22 this little this little uh, this little uptick you see that a little bit in both the 22 and 25 charts not as sharp as this i kind of wonder if something else had happened at this time to 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 to, to affect this but still this chart tracks pretty closely with the 22 chart, but not the 25 chart. That's interesting. Why is that interesting? Because you can say, oh, it's tracking closely with the 22 chart because 22 is closer. March of March of 2022 is right around the corner. Well, yeah, you can say that, but let's fast forward in time to December of 25, right? If we compare these two charts then, going back five years. It's not going to track as closely. Well, actually, you know what? That's not true. It's not going to track as closely. It's not... Um... Let's see. How far away are we right now from 2020... from December of 2025 that we were... that we will be in the past in March of 22? So it's not even December of 22 yet, right? So that's three years plus a couple months, like like eight or nine months. So let's go back three years in this chart. 
January of 22. January of 21. Okay, that's one year. January of 20 of 2020. That's two years. January of 2019. And let's go back a couple more months. Let's go to... In fact, you know, let's go to where we are right now. Let's go... Well, what would, we, what would the equivalent be? Maybe like March of 2018? So, to get a comparison of how closely this December chart... Ooh, uh, phase two. Um, I don't know. I'm still stuck up on the charts. To get an idea of how closely this ch this December chart will end up tracking with the chart for this company, think about that only, if you were to look at a five-year chart, you would only see, like, this segment here. And it's it's tracking kind of kind of close because that is the equivalent of this chart from maybe, like, here on. And kind of like from here on, is is it tracking Sabine Royalty Trust? It kind of? Definitely not as strongly as it is more recently. You can kind of see a little bit of a, of a cup here. You can kind of see that here also. The cup here is a little more rigid here too. There's, there's this ridge here that is non-existent in this chart, in the, in the chart for oil. So I'm not too sure. So yeah, you know what, yeah. I think, you know, it seems, now that, I'm, now that I'm examining it, it seems pretty natural that as the contract time for the oil contract comes uh, comes closer to expiration, it, it starts tracking with Sabine World Trust closer and closer, which will probably become true in, in December of 2025, um, that you'll find that this chart is just starting to track more closer with this chart also. I guess it's kind of like a rolling thing. Kind of an interesting analysis. Uh, and I spent way, way too much time doing it, and talking about it, and now I am kind of at a loss as to what to give this. I mean, I don't know, I'm probably going to give this a buy. I feel like I'm going to give this a buy just because that, that, that I like that, I like those, I like those distributions, I like those dividends, and the price action isn't bad either. It kind of depends on where oil is going to go. Actually, you know what, let me go look, uh, let me go look at oil prices. Oil price predictions. Oil price predictions. Could oil hit $100 after marking seven year high? When was this published? Uh, just yesterday. Briefest meetings where we decided the group would maintain the blah blah blah. The technical levels. Blah blah blah. Nerd numbers. Nerd charts. Frame crude prices with historical price ranges. Currently prices trade well above the significant 86.67 level. Well, I mean, things are a lot more expensive than they used to be, too. And you could say it's only been a few years, but you know, it's something something inflation, something something. Inflation. Uh, yeah. Supply challenge anticipated OPEC uh, supply continues to persist. The once ambiguous target of $100 is not out of the question. <clears throat> U.S. oil prices top $90 for the first time since 2014. Oil prices rise in 2022. My oil price prediction. My? Who the hell are you? Energy sector predictions for 2022. Oh, you're Forbes. Okay. I should probably listen to you. I don't got time to read all this... All these words words. I just want oil. Give me the oil! Was well, the one clear miss? Ooh, you're saying you got it wrong last year. Get, get the shit out of my face. One clear miss among the five predictions I made. I was correct that oil prices would rise as the economy recovered from the kit, but the oil recovery was stronger than I predicted and supplies were slower to respond. That's true. That's still true for a shitload of stuff, too. That's why things are becoming a lot more expensive. It's just a perfect storm of factors. You got crazy demand and you got limited supply. It's, it's basic economics, people! At the 2022 contracts for... Uh, crude are presently above $80 per barrel. 
but they do decline steadily as the year proceeds. Well, um, but they do decline steadily as the year proceeds. You, are you stating that as fact? Or as prediction? Because it sounds like you're stating it as fact. It's like you know what the future, what's happening to happen in the future. You don't know the future. Nobody knows the future. Except for me, I know the future. Always, I am. I am. I am infallible. That's a joke. I'm not infallible. I'm a dumbass. To continue in 2022 as demand continues to increase. Yeah, I mean, I. I... <laughs> You know, even without that reinforcement that oil was going to go higher, I'm pretty confident giving this a buy because I'll tell you what I don't think oil is going to do. I don't think oil is going to drop. It may stay the same. It may not increase in price as fast as it's going to, but, you know, people still want to get out there. They've been stuck at home for, for a year, two years now, and they want to get out and go stuff and do th and go stuff and do things. Go stuff and do things? No. Go things and do stuff. Actually, no, that doesn't make sense either. Uh... And that's been true for a while now, and that's why you've seen, you know, we went from oil contracts trading at literally a negative. I will pay you to take this oil. That was the craziest thing. I, if you don't want to talk about it, it happened in 2022, in 2020, in the, in the deepest midst of the, the pandemic, because no one was using gas. It was the craziest thing I've ever seen. I, as soon as I heard that news, I literally start Googling warehouses where I can store this oil and how I can rent trucks to transport this oil. Because it's completely insane. And you know, I mean, I didn't do it. But you know why I thought I could possibly get away with it? Because I knew at some point down the line that oil was going to be worth something. People aren't going to stay home forever. People aren't going to be stopped driving their cars forever. We're going to come out of this either by elimination of the virus, which seems to be impossible. I mean, I always thought it was impossible. Uh, or... Or people just say, fuck it, I've had it with this shit, I'm going to go out and live my goddamn life. There you go. And as I was saying, that that's not, that's not, the, even without, um, even without the reinforcement that oil could possibly go up, it, I, I don't think it's going to go down, it's, it's going to stay stagnant at, at worst, I think. Um... But even with that, the price of the company should probably stay the same. But if you buy it, then you'll be sitting on those sweet, sweet dividends, those sweet, sweet monthly distributions, which uh, ain't a bad, ain't a, ain't a bad paycheck. If you're in, if you're into dividend stocks, it's a hell of a thing. I'll tell you what. So that's what I think of uh, Royalty Trust. What the hell's the name of this? Sabine Royalty Trust. Sabine Royalty Trust. I wish I could know how to pronounce it. How, how do you pronounce? <laughs> Proud to pronounce. How to pronounce Omicron? You don't know how to pronounce Omicron? Actually, this is. I, I've known a lot of people by this name, and I've never been able to pronounce it. I'll tell you what, that's gonna be a lesson for another day. Uh. Sabine. How to pronounce Sabine. <clears throat> Alright, hold on, I'm gonna kill the music. Cause I assume that this that this is the same name that they're named after. Pronounce names dot com Sabine. Alright, wait a minute. Sabine. 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 Do we have the correct pronunciation of your name? What? What? You don't even know? You don't even know? You're teaching me how to pronounce the name and you don't even know how to do it? Why are you asking me? I don't know. I'm here to learn. God, stupid piece of shit. Okay. Sabine. Sabine Royalty Trust. These guys are a buy. Uh, you got different, differing opinions, let me know what you think and I'll catch you in the next one.